Man, I'm so mad. Yeah, my friend with the knife on, he says, ha, I can record my scream. <laughs> what if I told you, you can do that on your Android device with a stock option or install a custom app that is records as well as the stock app? Well, you came to the right video. So let's just get into it and don't tell anyone I told you how to do this. I know you're gonna go ahead and record stuff on Snapchat. Well, here we are. So firstly, you may not even need a third-party app to record your screen. So we'll check if your system has a built-in one. So it's usually in the quick settings panel. If it's not there, tap on the three dots at the top, tap on edit buttons, and it should be here. Look, it's here for me. So I'll just hold it and put it somewhere here and tap on done. Then I will tap on it and it will ask me how I want to record my screen and then I will tap on start recording. It will show the countdown and now it's recording. And if you want to change the settings, go to settings, scroll down to advanced features. Then scroll down to screenshots and screen recorder, tap on it. And here you can see the settings of the screen recorder. You may even access it quickly from the quick panel and tap on the text. As you can see, here are the settings, done. But you're probably not here for this. You're here for the third party app. Well, the one I suggest most that has the most advanced settings and uh, doesn't have any ads is screen recorder. The one I suggest you install is the one with the blue icon by Kimsey929. Tap on it and install it. After it has been installed, don't open it yet. I will show you what the best thing about this app is. Go to home, go to the quick toggle again and click on the triple dot, edit buttons and as you can see it has its own shortcuts. Most of apps don't have this, so that's why I suggest this one. Well, what I need is just the screen recorder, so I will drag and drop it. Ah! And put it here. Done. Just tap on screen recorder. It will ask for more permissions. And enable it. Tap on it again. It will ask the last permissions. Start now. And now we are recording the screen. After the countdown, of course. Now we're recording the screen. And from the notifications, you can stop, pause, draw, or show your own camera, as you can see. So this is what I suggest to you if you don't have the system screen recorder or if you feel the system screen recorder is very simple. It doesn't have a lot of settings. Well, that's all here. Well, you have reached the end of the video. I am the voice. And I'm gonna tell you to like the video and subscribe to become a pro or I will haunt you forever. Also, if you have any questions, comment below. I feel as you have done that. Subscribe, 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 subscribe,